easy to get rid of. I mean, obviously, you don't want to have oil in the water. You don't want to have oil anywhere. You should avoid spilling any oil, but if it happens, you can still clean the bamboo shirt rather than having to throw it away. So that is quite amazing. So bamboo doesn't just have this massive advantage from an ecological perspective. <coughs> At the same time, it's got extremely good performance properties as a textile, as a towel material. This is superior than other materials. So when you compare that with the cotton, the cotton actually uses 10% of the world's pesticides and 22% of the world's insecticides. Insecticides to kill off the insects that would come in. That is usually very nasty chemicals. Some of these chemicals, they go into our food. Some of those chemicals, they go into our water. Even in the Cameroon Highlands, I think a couple of months ago, there was a spillage of pesticide and the fish in the local river got killed. If people drop that in small amounts, the fish don't get killed. But the pesticides get washed away in small concentration, goes into the drinking water, goes into the fish at the same time, goes into the vegetables that we are eating. You know, in Germany, they always do evaluations. There is a green magazine. You can read in Germany which fruits and which vegetables have high pesticide concentration. So in Germany, the supermarkets are very, very concerned that they control their suppliers. Here, nobody measures it. We don't really know how much contamination is in our vegetables that come from the Cameroon Highlands with the pesticides. So these are really areas where we should, as consumers, choose products, food, clothes, and everything else where we know less contamination, less pollution. If possible, like bamboo, zero pesticides. That's a benefit to the planet and benefit to our health, definitely. And the water, the water consumption is amazing when you do normal conventional cotton. So, there you see the team. I think that is... Uh, ah. Def yeah, 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 yeah. She came to one of my tree planting events. I know her, but forgot her name. She's been popping up in your store, <laughs> plus other celebrities. So the challenge when you look at this industry and buying, what is your minimum order quantity? The problem why a lot of the green products are still a lot more expensive is because production small volume and purchasing in small volume. For example, if you get your, I'm sure your shirt that you have there, MTIB, you know, was sourced from a factory that produces tens, hundreds of thousands of government shirts. Now, they use the normal cotton, and that means they can do a cheap production, maybe high margin. If you, if I would source, or if you were to source a bamboo and eco-organic cotton shirt, it's gonna cost you most likely double or triple because the volume of production is close to zero. So the guy has to start sourcing it from somewhere. That's if we bundle things up, if we have one central sourcing service that can sell to three, four, five hotels, then the order volume gets higher and the prices are going to drop. You'll see the prices in a moment. They're still a bit more expensive, but the more we get customers to buy through one vehicle, the more the prices are going to drop. And it can concentrate as well the suppliers, you get economies of scale. Makes a lot of sense. And then the eco labels. In Germany, when we buy clothes, we look for the Ökotex 100 standard. Here in Malaysia, not many people know it. But that guarantees you no pesticides, no contamination in your socks. Even the cheap shops in Germany do it because they know the customer is asking for it. So here in Malaysia, we as the consumers, we need to start looking at this as well. But in a hotel context, for sourcing, it's easier if Bamboo Malaysia can take care of that for you and make sure you don't have to do it yourself. We've seen some of that already, the absorption of the water, the amazing cleanability. The pricing, that's obviously the key barrier at the moment. Because as we will see now, uh, with the exception of the sheets, 
The bundle sheets in this case, because it's a pack of four, actually turns out to be cheaper than the individual cotton sheet. But in the other three areas, bath towels, bath robes, and hand towels, the bundle option is still a bit more expensive. Or as it's in the case of the, um, the bath towel, it's significantly more expensive. But the more we'll buy, the more we can get economies of scale, the more these prices will drop. So we all need to work together to shift to more eco-friendly and sustainable solutions in order that we can drop the prices. So for you, please go bamboo. Make sure you become, when you buy things, conscious that there is an alternative solution. You know, people always tell me, wow, green lifestyle, you must spend a lot more money. I mean, I'm a bit extreme, I don't have a car. So I save every month, maybe a thousand, two thousand ringgit that I don't have to pay off on car loan. My electricity bill is 30 ringgit. So compared to the average Malaysian, I have more money in my pocket that I can spend on some green solutions. Let's try and make some money available in our lives for green options. Yes, it costs more, but it's an investment for your children's future. So three reasons, go green. Tree renting as well. Sourcing it from the bamboo tree is much more eco-friendly than other trees. Guest care, your health. You don't need to use chemicals to create antibacterial effects. Bamboo has it naturally built in. And the comfort, corporate social responsibility. If we really put in place corporate social responsibility, it's not just about donating some money to a good cause, it's as well using our purchasing power to buy the more eco-friendly and the healthier solution, and bamboo is one of the best and most amazing examples. So Bamboo Malaysia will help you to source, to check, to verify, to negotiate, and to deliver to you what you need and when you need. So it's a one-stop shop that can take care of that for you. What are the next steps? Obviously, speak to Shaz Ijaq about an appointment. And uh, go green, go bamboo, put it in place. Try and make a real effort, whether you are representing a company or whether it's your individual lifestyle, to start using bamboo products in your life. Clothes and towels is a great place to start. Share it with your friends, inspire other people to start using bamboo textile, fiber, and other bamboo solutions as a way of making your lifestyle greener. So there we go, the two contact phone numbers, and a big applause for the Bamboo Malaysia team, <laughs> who have done a great job in actually raising our awareness about bamboo in Malaysia, and who want to do an even bigger job in making bamboo happen everywhere. And we need all of your help, you all need to help spreading the word that bamboo is an amazing, eco-friendly and healthy product and that we can, if we can actually push it more, then it becomes cheaper and we can create a new economy for Malaysia that is more eco-friendly than what we're using at the moment. So let's all go bamboo, whether on the inside or on the outside. <laughs> okay, la. thank you. Thank you, Matthias, again, for the wonderful, short, and sweet talk. Um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. If you have any questions, um, you know, I think you know, all of you know who I am right now, Shaz, or my sister, Ija, will be here. Um, and if you have any inquiries, just come to us anytime. Thank you.